I'm probably like the only extreme couponer that likes to get rid of things in their stockpile. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Hi guys, Wholesome Mom Life here. I'm really excited to share my stockpile tour with you today. I just wanna preface by saying, number one, you're gonna look at this and say, how is she a couponer? Because I don't have that much stuff. I really don't like to hoard onto things. I have a sort of anxiety or stress when I have too many things. I'm just someone who likes to get rid of things. I don't have material attachments. And as I've couponed, I've gotten really good at understanding how the sales ad runs. And so I kind of know when things are going on sale and how often they're gonna go on sale at this point. So I don't, I, I kind of know what I need to stock up on and how long, if that makes sense. So like my coffee that I buy, the Javalia coffee, I got way too much of it and I've had it for like a really long time, but it's fine. So now I know in the future how often I really need to purchase it because it does go on sale more than I thought. And the second thing is that I have a relatively small house, so I don't have just the designated stockpile area. It's kind of spread out all over my home, to be honest, and we've just kind of squeezed it in little corners and it just is what it is. Eventually I'll have a big stockpile room, I hope, but for right now, it's just gonna have to do. Um, and my husband has been so gracious and helped me set up some storage, so that's great. I'm probably like the only extreme couponer that likes to get rid of things in their stockpile. I don't know, maybe that's just me. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, we are in my laundry room and I'm sorry this is such a tight view, but I just wanted to show you the shelf. I don't love this shelf. It's from Lowe's and it's kind of bowing in the middle because the items that I have on it are kind of heavy. Also, our floors are probably uneven. It's just like an unfinished floor, but it's got one, two, three, four, five, and then a top shelf. So it's relatively large and pretty tall. I've got my detergents on the bottom too. And this is like, I don't know, random kind of stuff. Then I've got tissue paper up here or just paper products, but it just happens to be tissue paper. And then just some folding chairs up there. Got some toilet paper. I've got some more toilet paper upstairs. I just can't fit it all in one area, unfortunately. Most of this has come from Dollar General. I will say, if not all of it, so yeah, definitely mostly Dollar General. And I think that I got before I was couponing. This is just Charmin, uh, which is probably the best toilet paper. Okay, down here, we've just got a random box of tampons that I need to give away. It's not something I usually hold on to. I've got a bunch of these things, these plugins. We get them for free all the time with couponing. There's always the PNG free, you know, air plugin things. So I get those a ton. This is like, a, what is this? Small spaces. I think I got that from Kroger. Some tissues, the bigger boxes. I've got four boxes of trash bags. So I've got the Glad Force Flex of those and as you can see they're different sizes so this is probably Dollar General and this was probably Walmart or Kroger and some of these I probably even got before I started couponing I've been couponing about 10 months so I do have some stuff pre-couponing like the tissue paper or the um, toilet paper I've got a Mr. Clean magic eraser some Swiffer dusters and just random Swiffer products that I use some Febreze products the fabric spray and then just the air spray. And then I've got some biotin. I've gotten a ton of this couponing, but several of my family members use this. So I do give this to them because I don't use it. Some dish soap that I got on a great deal at Dollar General several months ago. Some dishwashing detergent. So I've got some Dawn, which this I had gotten. I have a funny story about this that I'm not sure if I want to share or not, but this is something I got when I first started couponing. Some Gain dishwashing liquid and then some palm olives. Those are the bigger palm olives. And then a bunch of these renews it, which I got when I first started couponing. So I've had these for a really long time and I honestly don't really use them. I don't even know if they're good for you. Probably should give those away. They're kind of taking up a lot of space. And then down here, I've got my detergents and everything. So these are some beads, which I don't usually get all the time, but I did get these from CVS. This is from Walmart. They just gave me a little sample for doing pickup orders. A ton of snuggle, and a lot of this came from Kroger when it went on sale, and also Dollar General. These uh, snuggle scent boosters, I don't use them, so I'm probably gonna resell them, but they are from Kroger several months ago. So I've got a ton of those. Some more fabric softener, some downies, some snuggle, and then some random detergents I couldn't fit on the other shelf, but it's two Persils. I probably got the Persil at random places, probably Kroger and Walmart, 
and then some OxyClean Arm & Hammer. I think that came from Dollar General and some Dref. And then on this very bottom shelf, I've got my Purex. I've got a whole corner of Purex that I got, I think at Dollar General is where all of that came from, except for those big pods, that big pack of pods I got at Walmart. And then I've got a bunch of Tide over here that I do resell and I just have to wait until I get enough of it. So yeah, that's all my detergents right now. I've got the camera turned around backwards, sorry, but I've definitely accumulated, when I first started couponing, I, I accumulated so many detergents, it's not even funny. And I got to the point where I was like, what do I even do with all of this stuff? So I ended up starting to resell. And uh, right now I don't have a ton of stuff because I kind of stopped reselling around the holidays because I didn't feel like it. So I may get back into it eventually, but it usually just depends on how much product I have. And like I said, I have a small house, so like I can't keep hundreds of detergents. I just can't. This next stockpile room is really just a closet, like a utility closet. It's a ton of different things in here, but it's mostly where the food is kept, uh, besides like regular cabinets in the freezer. I've got a big case of water bottles, all of those I got on sale at Kroger after the holidays. They had them so cheap. I had to go to multiple stores for them, but it's so worth it. I think they were like 25 cents a can for the name brand evaporated milk, um, sweetened condensed milk, there's cream and mushroom, cream and chicken, and chicken and beef broth so I'm pretty much stocked up for the entire year and thank goodness it doesn't go bad for a really long time another thing I was able to get couponing is this Purina cat chow the indoor one this I did get couponing I have several bags of this I may even have them outside too where I just showed you where the detergents are but I forgot to show you I got some on Walmart on clearance and then I had coupons on top of that and then this one I probably got at Dollar General recently so the rest is just random stuff. I don't have it organized super well. It's the same shelf as the one I used for the detergents, but I think we took a piece off the top because it was too tall anyway for that room. So we use it in here. And again, it's kind of bowing in the middle. So it's a little bit annoying. Anyway, got a bunch of just random foods. This is something I got for Christmas. And then the rest is just stuff I've stocked up on. Love that oatmeal for my daughter. And then some Betty Crocker, like brownie and cake mixes and Ritz and a bunch of different crackers. And then up here on some shelves that were already up and these really need to be like put up better because they're not really sturdy. But I've just got the rest of my food I've stockpiled up here. Um, I way overdid it on the barbecue sauce last year. I thought it was like a once a year thing where it goes on sale super cheap and I was supposed to stock up and that just isn't necessarily true. And some of this is probably expired or it's about to. Yeah, it says July, 2021. So I really need to use that. The rest is all just stuff I've either couponed for or I got really cheap. I know these I got penny shopping at Dollar General. This I got at Sam's Club and I got that at Sam's Club. These I think I got maybe penny shopping or Kroger or something. I don't know. They were on sale. Um, these I got all for free at Walmart and I've given away like 10 of these, but they're chicken bouillon cubes. So that's fantastic. And then just some veggies and things. And then up here is more like breakfast stuff. So all of my coffee I was talking about is up there. It's not too many left, but you know, it's plenty to last for a while. And raisin bran and just some random stuff rice and pasta and um, this I get at Sam's Club it's the cheapest place to get salmon I love making um, salmon cakes with that and then these are from Sam's Club too but everything else I believe I couponed for so yeah, here's just a little overview of the room again so those two shelves and then this down here. Another place is not really considered a stockpile, but it's my freezer and that's where I keep all of my meat that I get on clearance. I usually only buy meat if it's on clearance or if I have a coupon like this I had a coupon for at Kroger. I got this couponing, the Jimmy Dean's breakfast sausage. This was on a really good deal a couple weeks ago. I'll get frozen chicken if it's on sale. And then I had a bunch of ground beef that I had gotten and I split it up and put it into baggies so that we can use it for different recipes and just labeled it. And then I just have frozen veggies and fruits. Another way you can save money is just to freeze things that you don't use, obviously. So I freeze like peppers and onions and stuff that I don't get through. I'll freeze fruit if it's fresh and it's about to go bad. And I'll freeze my breads and like double wrap them like this and I'll label them on one side so that they don't get freezer burnt. I also have a big pack of butter. It's like a four pack of butter from Sam's Club. It's actually a really good price for a four pack. It's about the same price as you would get Kroger butter when it's at its rock bottom price. So that's a great deal at Sam's Club. 
Okay, we're almost done. I've got two, maybe three more areas to show you. I'll probably just show you two because one's my daughter's room. I'll go over that in a minute. I just realized I totally lied. I have several more places to show you. I keep thinking of all these little nooks and crannies where I keep my stockpile. <laughs> but this is my makeup drawer. I had like triple this, but at Christmas I gave away a lot of makeup for stocking stuffers and for Christmas presents. So that was great. But yeah, this is my makeup stash. This is all CVS. CVS is great for free and money maker makeup. This is another just random closet in our house <laughs> where we have stuffed some paper products. But yeah, this is where the paper products are right now. I have paper towels, but I will show you that in a second. And these I coupon for at CVS. Obviously that's the Babu toilet paper or bamboo, whatever it's called. These were Dollar General, the Scott and the Cottonelle. And this I got at Sam's Club, or no, I'm sorry, I got this at Walmart. All right, and we're just in another random room, but these are paper towels I got from Sam's Club because I'm really tired of not finding good deals on paper towels. Obviously places are out that they were at one time and now they're not. So got this at Sam's Club, it's huge. And then I've got these at Dollar General uh, a couple weeks ago, I believe. I don't think I shared that in a video, but yeah, I got those big packs of paper towels from Dollar General. I actually really like these paper towels. This is kind of a mess right now. I'm sorry, this closet doesn't have a light. I got this little light at Dollar Tree. So up here is like shampoos, conditioners, and body washes that my husband and I use. I probably will give this one away because it made me super dry this winter. But otherwise, I only keep what I need for just a couple of months just in case, you know, randomly coupons just decide to not come out anymore and I've got enough shampoo and conditioner and body wash to last me and my husband. So yeah, that's what we have up there and I get a ton of this stuff and I just most of the time I'll either give it to the cashiers or I'll give it to my family or my friends or I gave a lot away for Christmas so that's what happens to all of that and then this shelf is just kind of random but deodorant tissues and that's random and that's not stockpile none of that stockpile except that I got at CBS that needs to be put somewhere else <laughs> And then one little sad lotion and then mouthwash. Those two things I give away often. And here are my like oral care that's not toothpaste and my floss. Toothbrushes, I again, I have so much of the stuff I usually give it away and I gave a lot away for Christmas. And here is just stuff from like, this is CVS that I just got and this one I already had. And then a ton of makeup remover wipes. These are all from CVS that I got for free or just really cheap. Sorry, it's kind of dark down here. I don't have great lighting. And then some feminine care products. That's all makeup wipes. Some more cotton products. And then some razors that I've just held on to. I give a lot of razors away. One more place I didn't show you is my daughter's room for diapers. As you see, I get diapers all the time and I just kind of keep them in her closet and then she's got a little shelf that I keep them on. She's like overflowing in diapers. I have diapers for her now and in the future, so she's definitely not running out of diapers anytime soon. Okay guys, and there you have it. That is my stockpile tour, if that's what you want to call it. It's kind of in random closets everywhere. I hope you enjoyed it anyway and I hope you found it entertaining at the least. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're new to my channel and um, I really appreciate your support and let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Bye guys.